Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going on this? Uh, God, I don't even know. I don't usually come on this late, so I don't even know how many people I'm going to have on here. However, if you're new to me, um, I, uh, I help people build their businesses. I help network marketers bring their business online utilizing social media, and um, which all in which actually helps you to create more results, I'll tell you that. Helps you to leverage your time and, and build more of an impact. So um, today I'm just going to, I'm actually just shooting right from the hip. Um, hey guys, yeah, if, can you just say hi um, as you're tuning in? Like I said, I'm usually not on this late. However, I've had some crazy conversations today. Um, hey Teresa, Annette, how you guys doing? Hi, Kathleen. Um, Kathleen, I think Wendy reached out to you, so make sure that you check your messages. Um, please, I appreciate you so much. Um, hey, Jennifer. So I uh, had several conversations today with um, I had a coaching client and some potential coaching clients, and it's really been it's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, but all good stuff, right? Um, and so I don't have any sort of bulletproof here. I'm just kind of shooting straight from the hip because I want to just get real on a couple things. Um, a couple things I'm hearing from people um, are maybe that they don't feel happy um, in their current network marketing company, okay? And let's say they're looking on changing directions. They're worried about what everybody else is going to think except what they think. And I'm going to tell you this right now, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about attraction marketing as well. Sorry, guys, I'm sitting outside. I didn't realize it was this windy. Hold on, you know what? Let me, let me go inside. Ah, I think it's too windy. It's beautiful, but it's just too windy. All right, can you guys hear me too? Look at this crazy, crazy hair. Can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up. If you could hear me. Are we good? Welcome to my home, everybody. <laughs> Talk about, thank God, hopefully it's clean. I don't even know. I look like a hot mess. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. Hey, say hi. Say hi, Harley. Hi, Harley. All right. That's my baby. I, as you guys know, if you do know me, you know I have two boys. But she is by far my biggest baby say hi isn't she cute isn't she cute okay now you gotta go okay all right so this is what we're talking about <sighs> oh girl yes hot mess well it's like 90 in chicago like 90 we closed the pool and now it wants to be 90 are you kidding me so welcome to my home um all right so this is what i'm talking about a couple things First of all, um, if you've been doing network marketing and you feel that you've been doing it wrong up to this point because maybe you were told to do it a certain way, okay? Maybe you were told to reach out to 10 people a day and, you know, um, spam your before and after pictures. You guys, I have done this. Like, I too have done this. But you have to understand what was happening in network marketing in, in 2012 when I got started and, you know, maybe 2010, 11, 12, like when Facebook started, um, you know, getting really, really hot, it's, 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 there was a shift, right? Like there is a shift of how to build your business and you will hear it more and more now than ever. And you're going to continue to hear it and it's attraction marketing. Um, and so a lot of people feel maybe upset to this point as I was talking to somebody today because they haven't been branding themselves. They've been doing what their upline told them to do in terms of, you know, uh, before and after photos and spamming people and just doing a million reach outs and really not getting anywhere. Like they'll post, um, curiosity posts and all that. And like, they're not getting any sort of feedback. And I say, well, what is it? How do you feel when you see other people posting that? And they said, it, it like, it makes them ill. And I'm like, well, imagine then what other people think, because this is what continuously, like we are taught inside of network marketing in the profession. 
And so I challenge you to shift the way that you think because network marketing is all about sales and marketing, period. And we, a, lot, a lot of us are not taught this. And I know for me, uh, especially in the beginning, I'm like, oh, I don't, want, I don't want to be a salesperson. I don't want to sell. But here's where the shift comes into play because you have to move product. You have to sell something, right? But what you're not understanding is that you're, there's two things that you're selling. You're selling your passion and you're selling the relationship. That's all you're doing. You're getting them to know you a little bit more, to feel comfortable with you, to the point of where you get them to open up and trust you to the point of where they're willing to, you know, try the product. I hear people that are like opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. And you have to understand, unless you've been doing what I've been doing, like attraction marketing and growing this following and things like that. Like now every day I have people literally saying, how do I join you? Like, how do I join you? They don't even care what company I'm with, right? They're just saying, how do I join you? So Imagine that. Like, I no longer, I, I don't prospect. Like, when you do attraction marketing, you no longer need to prospect, period. I, th- I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, take a couple of my really good friends, right? Like, look at John and Nadia Mountain. They didn't start out as John and Nadia Mountain, but yet, because they've been doing attraction marketing um, and pulling people to them, people automatically just want to join them. I mean, take anybody in this industry that has been doing attraction marketing. I'm sure if Ray was still in a company, you know, he would be pulling people in left and right to join them inside his network marketing business. And so you need to shift to really loving sales and marketing. And the sales process is, like I said, you just showing what you're passionate about And I don't mean like if you're in a skincare company or you're in a weight loss company that all you need to talk about is skincare and weight loss because you do not need to. So this is the, this is how you do it. This is the framework because people often say, well, what do I talk about when I go live? Live is the greatest and most rapid way you will grow following hands down. I will tell you that from personal experience. There is no way I possibly could have grown an email list um, to 47,000 people in one year by just you know, being like, Hey, grab my freebie through like a text post, right? You have to understand when you do a Facebook live, you're branding yourself, you're attracting people to you. People, they, they, there's psychology behind it. Like they see you. So right now I'm talking to you like as if you're sitting across the table from me. So I'm sure you feel a connection, right? You see me, uh, you feel me. Maybe I'm striking a chord with you when I'm talking about not chasing people and having people chase you, right? I'm striking a chord. You're feeling me and you're hearing me, right? You're hearing me. So there is psychology around that. And then the more and more that you keep seeing me and hearing me and feeling me and, 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 and getting like some free content for me and training for me, then maybe you'll move into the sales process with me of possibly purchasing one of my products. I don't know. I'm just saying, or possibly saying, Hey, I want to join you in your company. I'm, I'm using me as an example because this is the process of branding. This is the prospe- process of attraction marketing. So if you go back to you're in a skincare, skincare company or you're in a weight loss company or a travel company, it does not matter what company you are in. What matters is what you are passionate about. And that's what you talk about. You're attracting people to you for you. It does not matter what company you are with. It does not matter what product that you sell. It matters what the words coming out of your mouth and how you're making them feel. That's what matters. And this is what people get wrong all day long. You could be in a skincare company and that's awesome, but you don't need to talk about skincare. You could go off and talk about your marathon or your fitness routine or recipes, even though it has nothing to do with your network marketing company, like every now and then you could plug in some tips about, you know, um, healthy skin or anti-aging. But I'm telling you, it's just like, again, I'm going to use me as an example. If you've been following me, I will, I will, I have several sources of income stream, right? I'm network marketer. I have digital products. I do coaching. I have, um, um, affiliate marketing. Like I have a lot of stuff going on, right? And every now and then I will, I will talk about something or I'll plug something, but I don't make the whole video or my whole live about that one thing. 
Does that make sense? Are you guys like getting what I'm putting down right now? Because um, I don't want you to think that you have to only promote around what your company does. And if you do, let's take weight loss for instance, okay? If you are in health and wellness, um, or I don't want to say weight loss. I want to say health and wellness. If you're in a health and wellness company and um, there are so many things that you could talk around about around health and wellness. Like there are recipes, there are workouts, there are um, endurance workouts, there are how to create a, more tone in your body, how to get better sleep, how to improve the digestion, how to make healthy meals for your kids. I mean, um, you know, there's so much you could talk about. It doesn't have to just be around weight loss. Like Google is your best friend. Hello? Like just go Google um, and a million things will pop up. Articles, blog posts, podcasts, I mean, books, you name it. There's content all around us. I'm sure you guys get the picture. But what I want to say is also you don't have to just talk about health and wellness. You could talk about anything, right? See, that's the thing. That's a part of attraction marketing because you want to attract the right person to you. So with me, like when I was thinking of my ideal avatar to coach, obviously my coaching is higher ticket. Um, I, I have products for just the entry level network marketer. So that's taken care of because my coaching, and this is who I actually, these are my clients. They are looking to do what I did. They are looking to build either a branding business. They're looking to build another income stream outside of network marketing because they understand that even though you're network marketing, you do not own the company. So maybe they're looking to build their coaching business. So we're starting from scratch. What's your lead magnet? Let's build a very simple website. Um, let's get an email list going because I'm going to tell you lead generation is your number one thing. And when you're in business, you need to think about lead generation and an email list is the greatest way to build your relationship with people, you guys. Okay. So I want to make this clear because she today was like, I feel like I've done everything um, wrong, but listen, you don't look backwards, right? Like it, you don't look backwards because that is going to stop you in your tracks and you're going to sit there and, you know, worry about what you've done in the past. You have to look forwards. You have to look forwards and create a plan. And I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't have to be difficult. All you have to do is have passion, be excited about something, show up, be consistent. If you want to attract people to you, I'm going to tell you right now, and I know you're probably going to want to punch me through the phone. You got to do video or you got to do Facebook live. I highly, highly suggest a Facebook live because you will get more organic reach. And, um, and it's just going to be, the viewing is going to be so much greater through a Facebook Live than it's going to be. And don't worry about who's on your Facebook Live at that moment. It doesn't matter. It's what happens after you're alive. I'm telling you this right now. When I first got started, there was like three people. And I think the three people, I just kept seeing three back down to zero, three back down to zero. Like, I think it's just going through the feed and like that three second view and people be like, oh, I don't know who this chick is. But here's the thing. I was consistent in building my brand. I was consistent in building relationships. I was consistent in building out that um, fan page. Now, if you're new to network marketing, don't worry about creating a fan page. If you're not new to network marketing and you want to start attracting a different audience to you, then I highly suggest you start looking into creating some sort of fan page or business page, whatever you want to call it. I call it my community. I'll be honest. I, I feel like um, I call it my passion page. My passion page and my hub, where I spend most of my time connecting with people all over the world. It's the coolest thing ever. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm saying to you right now is that there is a shift in the trend. Okay, the trend is now moving towards um, building you, building your brand, building whatever it is that you want to talk about. If you want to talk about sewing all day long and you're like some master sewer or whatever, I'm sure there are people out there that love to freaking so, right? And maybe your network marketing company is oils. Like maybe you're with um, Young Living or Juterra or whatever. Well, guess what? You're going to connect with these people that love to sew all over the world and whatever, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying. Like, so that's where the relationship starts. They're now attracted to you because of what you're putting out there. Do you guys see that? Like attraction from what you're putting out. 
attraction for everyone's going straight to the buffet. Everyone's like, boom, the opportunity. Like, how about we just slow down, back it up, because I'm going to tell you that's where rejection happens. If you're going straight for the kill, um, most likely people are going to sense that and they're going to like totally digress. Like, let's face it. Most people get involved in network marketing for the product. Like they're open more for the product than they are the opportunity until you build a brand, until you do attraction marketing, until you start gaining that following that knows you, likes you and trusts you. That is where the business builders start coming in and they start wanting to join you. Okay. And it makes it so much easier and you don't need to prospect. This is what I'm talking about tonight, you guys. Um, and I had several conversations today because again, these are potential clients and all three of the conversations flowed the same way. It was all around. I've been doing, they've been in network marketing for a couple of years. I've been doing it wrong. My upline's been teaching me the wrong way. My upline's been teaching me a way I don't feel congruent with like doing it that way. I feel spammy. You guys, I get it. And, and I'm going to be honest. I used to be one of those leaders before I knew, right? But luckily about a year and a half ago, I hit a wall in my own network marketing business, meaning I hit a wall in doing it that way. I hit a wall in saying, oh my gosh, I cannot stand seeing another um, transformation post or posting about a shake or what have you. Like, I just, for me, it was a huge turnoff. And I'm like, why do I feel this way? So if I would have ignored those gut reactions I was having, I would have continued on and I probably definitely would have quit altogether. But instead I said, you know what, a year and a half ago, I am um, the very first person I ever, ever spoke to in December of 2015 was Nadia Melton. She jumps on a call with me. I had no idea who any of these people were in the marketing space. I didn't know who Ray was, John and Nadia. I just saw something she was putting out there. And I said, well, what is this whole thing? And she tells me to do video. And I said, oh, uh-uh, mm-mm, I'm not doing video. Oh, no. And she's like, I'm telling you, you got to do a video. And this is pre-Facebook Live, but I think Periscope was around, okay? And I'm like, Nadia, you're crazy. I'm not doing it. And anyways, I did one video. I was uh, giving the healthy tips around the holidays, whatever. And I didn't die, and it was cool. Uh, but I never did one again until I was told to do a Facebook Live, and I started doing Facebook Live consistently last July. And from the beginning of July, when I started putting myself out there to the end of July, somebody asked me, do you coach? And I'm like, oh gosh, um, sure, right? Like she wanted me to coach her on building out her fan page and her, her, um, her lead magnet and all that. And I'm like, cool, I've done that. Um, Right. Because we're always doubt ourselves. You guys, we're always going to doubt ourselves, especially when we have another human beings like um, their livelihood in your hands. That's how I felt. Well, guess what? I didn't die. I we did well. She now has like 8000 likes on her fan page and she's growing her business just fine. She's doing great. Then the next one and the next one. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So um, we can't beat ourselves up for the way that we have done this business because that's how we were taught to do this business. But what I'm sharing with you tonight is opening up your mind and making a shift to a different way of doing business. If you are not in total alignment with what you're doing, don't do it. If you are not in total alignment with your company and passionate about your company and your products, don't be there. Find out some, figure it out. Find somewhere else that you want to go. OK, because unless you're in full alignment with what you're feeling, what you're thinking, um, your passion will never be your true passion. OK, and that and what you project onto another human being, your words and and your your passion and your guidance, it will never mean the same because you don't feel congruent with it. OK, I know that was all big and deep. But do you understand what I'm saying? You guys give me a one if you understand or a yes or a hallelujah or an emoji. If you guys understand what I am saying right now, because um, I want you guys to understand that life is too short to settle. OK, 
Um, I went through things recently with my last network marketing company and, um, you know, it's, it's funny cause I look back now and even though it was hurtful, I, I say, you know what? It's cool because it was meant to, it was meant to be that way. Right. It was meant to be that way. And now look like I'm so much, I'm happier, I'm happier and I'm happier with my new home. I'm happier where I'm at now more than ever. And, and so things are supposed to be happening for a certain reason. Now I had somebody else say to me, I don't feel happy with my current company and but I, I don't feel like I need it. I don't feel like it's for me anymore. I feel like I want to make this jump. But what do I do with my customer base? What do I do about people that already know I'm with that company? I said, well, I mean, what do you mean? What do you do? You got to live a life for somebody else, right? And it's not to say it in a disrespectful way, because trust me, I understand I had a downline of... Um, almost 9,000 people. And I walked away from that. Okay. Um, and I had a huge downline of builders that I had, I walked away from. So I get it. But here at the end of the day, are you going to stay put and unhappy somewhere or doing something you don't want to do just to benefit somebody else? That's what you need to think of. That's what this is about, right? That's what that this whole live is about is are you going to do something to just make somebody else happy or do you want to figure out the path for you, the way that you want to build your business? Because at the end of the day, it is not your company's business. It is not your upline's business. It's not your downline's business. It's your business. It's the way that you want to put yourself out there. But my network marketing company will be unhappy or I will get in trouble if I go off and I brand myself or, you know, what have you. Listen to me. Like, That's ridiculous. If it's going to help you attract more people to you and that's what you want to do, then do it. Somebody said, and she's a top earner, build your business, not your brand. That is BS. I will, I will stand up against this person and I will say in their face, that is BS. You build your brand through building your business, period, hands down and a story. There is no way I'm at in one year in my life where I'm at right now with my business, if I did not build a brand, if I was not able to build what I have built through my social media channel, through utilizing my fan page, through reaching an audience anywhere in the world and targeting my ideal audience with my message, there is no way people would be saying to me, I want to join you in your company. What do you do? Where are you at? I want to join you. I want to be with you. Sign me up. I'm sorry. There's no way. And so um, I, I'm going to come back at that person and say, um, no, uh, you build your brand through building your business, period. But it starts with the brand. It starts with attraction marketing. So you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I think this was a really long training, way longer than I'm normally, um, doing. However, thank you for sticking on with me. If you just jumped on, I highly recommend you going back to the beginning. Um, you guys, was this helpful? Let me hear from you. I, I obviously was in a zone, so I wasn't looking at any of the comments. I hope this was helpful, helpful for you guys. Um, I appreciate all of you. That's why I, I jump on and, and Oh, by the way, what happened? Well, Julie did Facebook lives and in one year I just looked on my videos. Um, do you guys know on my fan page, I have a, there's a video tab, just FYI, you guys, and you could go in my video tab and I have about 240 <laughs> Facebook live trainings for you to watch that you could go back and watch just within the last year crazy. I also have a YouTube channel, um, but I really like to stick to, to one platform. Um, I use buffer to cross, like bring things over to Instagram and bring things over to Twitter. I use buffer personally, um, but everything comes from my, my Facebook page. But, um, yeah, I mean, just crazy for someone that was so, so against doing Facebook live. And now I love it. I love it because I get to interact with all of you, um, I'm okay. So, uh, Kathleen said, yes, very helpful. Joanne. Hell yeah. I love that. Joanne, uh, Yolanda love it. 
it won't let me go past the Yolanda. A lot of emojis, always helpful. Thank you, Rainy. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Diane, Alan, extremely helpful. All right, guys, cool. Thank you. Well, listen, if you found this helpful, um, a couple things. Please tag anybody that you know that needs to hear this message in the comments. I want you to tag any of your team members, any of your friends that you know in this business that needs to hear this message. Um, number one, and also like and share, but tag anybody that you know. If you are new to me and you haven't grabbed your free gift, head over to um, createsuccesswithjulie.com, throw in your email, and I have a lot of different free resources there. I have um, uh, 60 Days to uh, 10K ebook, um, which I had several people write me about and say that they love it. I have Social Media Recruiter Frenzy Guide. I have a lot of things over there. If you're, that's a little bit more if you're more new to social media and you want the free strategies, that would be for you. Um, 41 Bulletproof One Liners. I got a lot there. So just go ahead and check it out, you guys. And as always, be blessed. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next training, okay? Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below or just feel free to private message me. You guys know where to find me, okay? Um, talk soon. Bye.